G'day, Jamar. How you going, brother? Hey, good, brothers. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Hey, uh, firstly, congratulations, though, being number one draft pick. Um, you know, it's always, always a special moment um, to be caught out first among your peers. Um, you know, how do you feel, mate? Have you had a sleepless night? Have you you've been tossing and turning and get, just itchy to get into it? Yeah. How are you feeling? I've been keen to get into it, actually. Um, I was nervous all last night. I'm still a bit... Nerves are gone, but I still doesn't doesn't feel real. hasn't kicked in yet. Um, but like all this media stuff, like obviously it's um, pretty flat out, um, full on. But anyway, it's been unreal. Like I love it. Love every bit of it. You know, you've held yourself well, mate, over the over the period. I've been keeping an eye on a few things, so keep it up. And mate, most importantly, um, as we know, family family is crucial in our community. And um, you know, you celebrate with your family last night. You know, what's their reaction and how are they feeling today? Oh, they're good. Obviously, overwhelmed, showing every emotion. Um, especially, I invited, you know how Robbie asked me, Robbie Draz, our manager, he asked me to invite um, invite whoever you want up. You know, I, I was saying to him, you don't tell no Indigenous boy to invite anyone up because I invited like 40 of them up because everyone's lighted up. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I got Robbie to invite my mum and dad, a couple of brother boys, and um, then I got all these other ones, like my sister to come up and obviously my cousin and everyone. So it's just been unreal to have them there and obviously get that atm as the atmosphere just as a draftee to get picked up um, with all the boys around here as well. So it's was, it was pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely a special moment and uh, I hope the club realises that, you know, when you start playing games and you invite 40 odd people to your, um, to your draft night, you've got to invite 40 to 50 to every game too to make <laughs> yeah. sure the Exactly, you've got to look after it, everyone, so. eh? <laughs> Back in the day, how'd you find it going pick number one? Yeah, look, it's obviously a uh, special moment, as, as you would know, and um, a lot of pressure you know, was attached to it. But lucky enough for me, um, I get to go to a great club with the Brisbane Lions and um, you move up north and you know, football wasn't, the AFL wasn't the number one sport up, up the time and you're competing with rugby and rugby league, um, just to name a few. So I got to, got to hide a bit away from the, uh, from the spotlight. But yeah. Um, yeah, look, now that I've been retired 10 years out of the game, um, when I look back at it and think that I was the number one draft pick and... Um, to see your, you coming through now, it's definitely a special me memory and a moment. Um, you know, the, get to watch the draft documentary at times, which we did back in 97, 98 when I was a young fella. Yeah. So um, that's always special, mate. <laughs> yeah, a huge achievement, I reckon. It's massive. Not only just for us, but for the next generation. Mate, if I've got one tip for you, yeah, after your career, uh, maybe two actually. The first one is it goes really quick. Goes all right? quick. So I'm telling you. Make sure you start setting yourself up outside of football. Yeah. Whether it's you know, going to university, TAFE, getting yourself an employment on the side of football because before you know it, mate, it comes and goes. And um, I've been probably retired as long as I played now. And, um, you know, you got to make sure that life um, is, is supported a lot for yeah. you and your family afterwards. And most importantly, mate, just enjoy yourself, you know. The harder you work, the luckier you get. And have fun. Enjoy the game. You're going to really cherish. You're going to play alongside some really special people. You're going to learn a lot about the game. You're going to play against some champions. And I can't wait to watch you on the weekends, brother. Go down there and run a month. I'm keen as, actually. Just get get into training. I tried to get in this Friday, actually, to get on. But um, we've got to go on Monday. Just all the draft days. Yeah, no no resting, eh? Straight, yeah. straight, straight in the draft, straight to training. Yeah, I tried to get a little bit of head start, but not allowed. So, which is unfortunately. All right, get in there. Run those laps and, uh, you know. <laughs> Kick off from the start and make sure make, make sure you work hard in preseason. You'll get a game around one, hopefully. And we're yeah. looking forward to seeing you run the muck and playing that forward line, or just being a swingman. Who knows where you're going to play? So yeah, any position these days. So exactly. Yeah. Well, good, brother, mate. Well, good luck with it all. As I said earlier, looking forward to um, you know watching you over a long period of time. And you know when we catch up one day, when all these COVID issues are finished, we can yeah. um, come and shake your hand and say good day, and, and you get to meet you face to face. So yeah, good luck, future for you and your family and. We'll be in touch, brother. All right, cheers, brothers. Thanks for coming.